What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last time we proceeded to Analanda. Uh, we also killed a spider monkey and got a ring. Oh, recovers HP from critical attacks. It's actually quite cool. So, we're going to be continuing on. We've got seven nests left. That's probably enough to fight a boss, I imagine. I mean, if we're careful and do dodging, then, you know, we should be able to get through it without using any, to be fair. Get rid of these disgusting pails. Less annoying than the uh, flame ones, obviously. That. In fact, let's check. Oh yeah, they burn real well. I feel like I'm cooking them. In fact, I mean they are just hunks of meat after all. Punch, punch. Well, actually, there's a fair amount of damage to them. Fire punch. I done it, Shad. You mimic. Oh, that's cheeky. It's not a mimic. Oh, that's an impressive one. It's an Esther Slash Shard. Ooh, very nice. You know, I really am tempted to go back uh, to Firelink Shrine. Or just to, uh, what you call it, to rest in general. But I feel that would be detrimental at this point. Also, we just got so lucky that those slimes didn't fall on our heads. That would have been messy. Do I still have the torch equipped? I do. Fire on! Whack him with the torch. That does nothing. I think we are best at punching them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Ugh. Ugh. Do we have any flames? Oh, we've got five bombs, haven't we? They work. Something for some flame pine resin, but you know what? They do with fire bombs. Oh, yeah, that worked for wonders. Also, let's swap off back to our shield. Now, I don't know where Arnry is. I would like to summon Arnry for this fight. Uh, actually, I imagine Aldrich is also a giant, like, sludge monster, so I think maybe it'd be wise to save some Esther, or save some fire bombs. Just in case that is true. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is because we saw like a clip of him in the very beginning of the game. There's like a giant pile of slugs, sort of leechmonger esque, from what I could tell. Then again, it has been a while since I did look at the uh, intro to the game, so who knows? I'm hoping Anne is around here and that we can summon him. Her? I'm still not sure. I'm still very confused about the gender of Anne. Because I know it can, well, he can be both a he and a she, or either or I suppose. Now where is Anri? I'm hoping the summon sign's up here. If not, I might do a quick alt tab. I'll be right back once I check. So, from what I can tell, I think I have missed something. I'm going to head back to the church where Anri was a while ago before Pontiff Sullivan this one, the Church of Yosh, whatever her name is. That's her, by the way, over there. Captain already. Of the Dark Moons. Apparently there's an assassin in here, and we need to kill them. I didn't know. I remember reading about the assassin, but didn't realise it would be important. Hopefully it hasn't fudged, fudged the quest line at all. I know the assassin is used for an alternate ending that we can't get because yours are not alive anymore. Apparently... Where are they? One of these statues is fake, I'm pretty sure. Let's look for the obvious one out. It's in a corner, apparently. Over here, maybe? It's not one of these, is it? Come on, don't tell me I've missed this quest line. Really hope I haven't. I would very much like to have Andre join me on this quest. Oh, damn it. Damn it, don't tell me I've messed it up. I uh, don't wanna. Tell me they're up here or something at least. Ah, I think I fudged the quest. Oh, damn it. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's just have a look around again. It says one of these statues in the corner is fake. I'm guessing it's probably stood here. Uh, I'll be right back once I just double check. Hang on. Yeah, I've messed up the quest. Damn it, Alan, he's dead. God damn it. Yeah, well, you, there's supposed to be a pilgrim, as they're called, in that corner. And if you don't kill it, then it will kill Henry. And we need to head to the Dark Moon tomb to find them. And I know, a Dark Moon, I know where the Dark Moon tomb is. It's back down at the bottom where the statue of Gwyn was. Although I'm pretty sure I hit that statue and it did nothing. I might have to put on a ring. Like, what is it called? Like the ring of the Dark Moons or something? Dark Moon ring or something? I don't know. We may not have to. Oh, I'm annoyed at that. There's two quests I've failed. First one was completely by accident. It was y'all, but... Still, that sucks. I was really hoping Henry would be alive. Ugh. Well, we'll just have to get it on the second time around. Well, a lot of damage from just a short fall. But yeah, on the second time around, things are probably going to stay the same. I'm probably maybe using great hammers instead of great swords. It's not a massive difference, I will admit, but I just don't like any of the weapons, really. I mean, I wouldn't mind using Voigt, for instance. That thing does look pretty nice. Now, please disappear. It did. Henry's down here dead. Yeah, this thing here. This pilgrim? Ch chameleon? It killed Henry. Henry's dead in here somewhere. That's the brass set from that woman from Dark Souls 1. Ugh. <sighs> I'm guessing that's Henry's corpse there. It is. Uh. Oh, Henry. I'm sorry. If only I'd killed that pilgrim, if I'd have known. Uh. That sucks. Uh, do we have any uh, emotes for this we can use? Well, yep, there's Henry. That sucks. Sucks a lot. Well, we'll get it next time around. Don't you worry. Next time, we won't let Henry die. Unless we have to. Because there is two, two endings to the game, and one of them does involve you all. Which we can't get now, obviously. And... Screw you. Goddamn. Don't swing. Kick. There we go. Oh. Well... Time to fight Aldrich. Apparently, he's really weak to the Wolf Knight Greatsword. Good thing we cranked that up a bit. It's not only plus two. It takes Titanite skill, does that, doesn't it? You know what? We'll head back to Farlink. Heal up a little bit. Well, level up a bit, I should say. And then we'll see about maybe cranking up the Wolf Knight Greatsword if we can. Again, apparently he's really weak to it. That's what it said, at least on the wiki page when I looked at it to see about Henry. Uh, that has saddened me by the way, that failing Henry's quest. Really hoping I wouldn't fail the second one. Still, we got the one as I guess is important and that's Sigward. Sigvard is alive and that's all that matters. True, Henry wasn't bad. I did like them, but we all know Sigvard is the uh, Sigvard is the is the hero. Let's uh, level up a bit and also crank up the weapon. I'm hoping we've got a tiny skill. I think we have. We've got a bunch, haven't we? Tiny skill. Six. Yeah, it's more than enough. Right. At least for a short period of time. Mm. 
I don't know if anyone sells Titanites okay, around here. Careful. Actually, before we do, we can give him a call. Also, I think we can reinforce. My, my. The cool of that peaceable giant. Seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger, I do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons, never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> yeah, she sounds really beaten up about it. Okay, well. Pretty. <laughs> time to level up a bit and then uh, go and try it. I'm not sure if we'll do a weapon swap halfway through and check the differences in damage. Well, it's very well. Level me up, please. I would like some more strength, uh, more vigor, endurance, strength. Thank you very much. Farewell, honey. Now then, time for to run through the fire and the flames and giant slug boobs monsters. Flesh monsters, I suppose. What will happen with Arnery to have that occur? I know there's a cutscene involved with the other ending. Which I'll probably actually go for, if I can, next time around. Also, very soon, the lid is going to turn to ashes, by the way. That's something to point out. But yeah. I don't know. Oh, run, run like the wind. No. It's because I remember there being more enemies here. Maybe it's because all the slimes. Oh. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Here we go. Aldrich, the Devourer of Gods. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Instant kill? Really? Just a straight up instant kill? What? What? Okay, not to self. Dodge that attack. Need to point out. Also, in case you didn't notice, he was wearing the stuff that, um... Hang on, Aldrich? I'm sure Aldrich was the name of the scholar. But we did 233 damage. We'll put on the Wolf Knight and we'll give that a whirl. I wonder if the Wolf Knight, Wolf Knight is extra because he's, like, part of the Abyss or something. I don't know, I'm just pulling stuff out of a hat at this point. Uh, let's also equip uh, Speckled Stone Plate because it gives us damage reduction on everything. Dodge the knights. Here we go. Now we grab our souls back. I was going to actually purchase um, some embers, wasn't I? Forgot about that. Oh well. Oh wow. That's not a good way to start. Immediately get hit by three of them. Or well, more than three, in fact. Get hit by what, six, seven of them? Coming through. Try this again, shall we, Aldrich? Get out way. Only 200. So it's not doing quite a bit. I suppose we did crank up our weapon more than that, so I can't say I'm not surprised. Oh well, Aldrich is a slug monster. So apparently we need to fire, so let's try that. Not as much done as I thought it would. We need to fire and lightning actually now that I think about it. Go, roll, roll, roll. I'm not getting hit by that attack. It hurts and it's like, oh well. Good okay, look. See some green blossom. Oh, that stings a bit. 
I'm tempted to put on the uh, the dark plate ring, by the way, rather than just the speckled. Three blends, three twice. Let me guess, back to this corner. Yep. Oh wow, move back to the middle. Oh, I thought we had armory here. Oh wow. Yeah, he's uh, taking on the name of a lot of Cinder now. They put the mantle. Oh, that's a bit. Didn't even get the heal off. Heal. Dodge roll. Okay, missed it, but we didn't get hit twice, so I'll take that as a win. Changed up his moveset completely. Great to know. Just apparently that chases you down or hits in a different, completely different pattern. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled that way. God damn it. This boss is going to be a real pain. I can already tell. Well. Maybe we put on the dark plate ring instead of the speckled. I think we might need to do an equipment swap. <laughs> Put on Katarina stuff. Black iron seems like the way to go, because it's got good fire and dark defense. Unfortunately, it's very heavy. And we'd have to probably swap out to the fat ring. Let's check. Black iron, can we roll? No, we can't. It's far too heavy. Jesus. Uh, what else has got fire and dark defense as well? Some physical. Well, that's not bad. Kind of goes with it, almost. Not the helmet, really, but... Hmm. That's not bad either. Is it better than the abyss? Physically, yes. Fire and dark, no. Uh, this is going to be a grueling boss fight, I can tell you that much. People don't have any resins either, or anything like that. Got dung pies. Um, I don't know what we can use. Honestly, let's not think about it. Let's just go back in there. Try again. Round, round three. Let's reject stamina. Actually, dodge the fire this time around and not get hit by it. Also, I think I'm starting to get the pattern down now. Still, that just rain of arrows, instant kill basically if it hits you. Get stun locked to death. Maybe not if you had better poise, but. Well, excuse me, I'll just grab this. Yeah, you move. You move. Okay, yeah, already, already dead, yep. Couldn't even roll. Oh. Mm, this is not what I wanted to do. It's not what I want this to go. We're going to have to take a trip back to Firelink Shrine soon. Because we're going to need some more embers. Oh. Tempted to just upgrade my weapon with fire, honestly. Infuse it with fire. We could uninfuse it, but I don't know if it would, like... Undo all the work I've done with it. Uh, 
if we can't get it this time, and I'm not getting my hopes up, then I think we'll go back, infuse it with fire, buy some embers, and we'll see what happens. These three are really annoying. Oh, I hate the fact that we get stun locked so easily. That's driving me mad. Why is everything so heavy and why does the Havel Ring not work as well as it used to? Just give me for a second. I'll grab this. There we go, that's that attack. And then we got clipped by it. Roll away because it's got a follow up. Why'd you do that? I had a bonfire to relight. It's in your hands. Please save his soul. And now I've got to fight the dancer of the Boreal Valley. And I don't have any helmet bones either. God damn it. Um, this is problematic. Oh dear. I really hope the fight just doesn't immediately start. In fact, it doesn't until you get the statue. So you've got to go to the statue at the back of the room. So we can still head back to Anolondo and light that bonfire. And also, you know, loot the area if we can get up to where Guinevere used to be. Um. Hello? Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. Okay. Now we can fight the dancer. And now I have to find a way back to a bonfire. Ah, should have bought some other bones. Well. I guess we can fight some Lothric Knights while we're here. See how far we can come. Pretty substantial, let's see. Uh, 
It doesn't hurt as much as it used to, I will admit. That used to hurt a lot more. Yeah, okay, calm down. I said it used to hurt a lot more. I didn't mean you just wail on us. Yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, we got an ember from him. Oh, well, that's good. Let's kill this blue one because, well, vengeance reasons. And... Dead. Right then. Also, while we're here, let's look at how many straight sword that we got from... Henry's unfortunate body. Sword precious to Henry, another unkindled. The dullest type of blade found in the ruined land of Astora. Ah, yeah, and it's boosted by luck, apparently. Scales with luck. Oh, something like that, I don't know. Well. I think there's a bonfire here, isn't there? In Voigt's. So we'll just go there. Then we'll head back to Anolondo, uh, run back to the chambers, light the bonfire, because I'm not leaving that bonfire unlit. It's really annoying the fact that it instantly summons you and you get no choice. It's really annoying. Oh no, it did light. Well, now I feel robbed. I wanted to light that bonfire. Damn you, game. Doing this to me. I wanted to light that bonfire myself. Oh well, I suppose. What time are we on? Well, oh, that's a shame. I'm actually going to have to cut it soon. Because we're approaching... Well, I'm approaching the time limit. Good to the lift still work. We've got three minutes left, so we have to fight the dance tomorrow. For this session, at least. It's been a long session. Is it blocked up? Well, nothing much appears to have changed. Oh, there's an item. Sun Princess Ring. Uh, well, not Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. There it is, right at the top. Ring associated with, with, ring associated with Guinevere, Princess of Sunlight and eldest daughter of Gwyn the Firstborn. Oh, gradually restores HP. Hello. Are we damaged at the moment? No, we're not. Don't know what the effects of that are and how potent it is. Hmm. Is there anything at the other side of this place? Before we go back and head back to Firelink for a bit. To do some... Hmm. Maybe not levelling up. I think we've done enough of that. Well, I'll still be doing it. But, uh, the point is that, um... We need to get some more homeward bones, among other things. Most just homeward bones, though. Still looking out for my chunks, though, I will admit. Still greatly saddened by the lack of them. Gonna have to look up where you can get them from. Also, we're still wearing our Bucket Knight helm, which I'm favouring quite a lot. I do like the Abyss Watcher stuff. What do we look like with the hat on? It's a bit too pointy for my liking. Go bucket. Also, I think Ludlith will be dead now, by the way. I think he turns to ashes after you defeat the fourth one. Or maybe it's when you lay the head of the... the Valdrich on the throne, or whoever else is the last Lord of Cinder. In fact, let's look at that item while we're here. Ugh. Aldrich became a lord by devouring men, but was disillusioned with his throne and so took devouring gods instead. Why did he devour a god? Hmm. Oh yeah, that frame drop. Ooh. That wonderful frame drop. You still home with bones. Give me a whole bunch. Twenty. Let's see if we can send uh, Greer out on his last voyage. Oh, hello, hand in one. You can. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Soon we'll be able to send Greer out on his uh, final path. But anyway, we're going to cut it here. 
So, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have any likes, if you want to feel as well, don't forget to um, share the video around, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Grab the channel some more, and I will see you all. Oh, hang on. Controller. Next time.